I always seemed to sleep in. But I used to take three-hour naps between jobs a year ago. So I feel justified. I still feel like a homeschooler sometimes. Perhaps I should start getting up early to prep for when I have to be up. But maybe this will be the last time I get to. Now it seems like I either sleep when the sun comes up or not at all. I try to have some kind of discipline to write stories every day. But I keep watching a video to see if a giant ape can beat a Tyrannosaurus. It can't. Someone spent a long time setting up a program that someone else made into a video that I could watch. Very kind of them. Every few pages, I check the book to see how far I've gone and if I'm approaching the halfway point. I enjoy the book, but there's a lot of books to read. Putting on pants made me feel like I had a schedule during the pandemic. During COVID, everyone became a voice actor. There's a whole pile of them. There's a whole pile of them. There's a whole pile of them. There's a pile of them. Let's go. Come on. Yeah! Come on! Come on, let's go! There's a pile of them! There's a whole pile! There's a... There's a whole pile of them! I tried auditioning for audiobooks, but I didn't seem to match the tone they wanted. I have a few ideas for a show, but most have been done. I was late to the game. Now people have to make five videos a day to stay relevant, and I use that term loosely. They're streaming, but I'm not sure if people would want to watch me play a video game. I like board games, and talking about them sometimes, but there are many of them done by guys in Britain, so I probably can't compete. Okay, let's do this! Movies are great to talk about, but people who do reviews are really funny, or have degrees on the subject. Much more eloquent whether I agree or not. I'm just not sure how they have time to do it. Some people make shorts. And they are very weird, improv, very funny. Sometimes they animate them. Sometimes they make so many I don't know how they come up with the ideas so fast. I'm 43 and he's 25. He lives out in the country too. Maybe I can cook fun things. But I'm pretty new to cooking. I've only really tried doing Star Wars recipes and I don't want to get in copyright trouble. I used to dance at a goth club, but I'm not a dancer. There's a guy my age that does dance videos, even with that cute lady in the AT&T commercials. He's talented and funny. I met him once on the Queen Mary and outside of Disneyland. He's a boxer now. And he's got a, a, a lisp like me. I, I think I have one. Some people said I did, but I'm not sure. Those around me seem to be creating families out of thin air, and I sit uninterrupted on my own picnic. But there's just so many ants to keep away alone.
I considered trying ASMR, but most of them have super nice microphones and great lighting. It's hard to whisper while cooking with pots and pans. If I'm teaching a game, they have to listen. If they fall asleep, I guess I'm doing my job, but do they learn the game? Flip over the face down sight at the cradle to reveal the lush coast. Maybe this will be the video, but it's just one. What is going on out there? Does anyone even need my help? It's nice out here, but I miss the places I've been. I try to say hello. People seem to be doing all right, but maybe they think the reason I'm talking to them is for something I need. I know that's not true because I respond to everyone. Maybe they're just busier than me. I've had a bit more time to look online and build small worthless things, but it's not worthless because I'm enjoying it, right? Maybe I have to make money at it for that to be the case. I'm not sure how someone can work on set or have relationships during this time. Maybe it's because I work nights It's getting late, which means it's time to go out and work. So despite COVID calming down, it doesn't feel much different. One night shift means you watch people fade away. People disappear to their beds and parties. Then you are alone. You'd think it would be different in the city, but when I'm up and working, everyone else is asleep. People forget you are there, and you have time to write it down and think too much. I feel like I'm clinging to a train as it speeds along, but the train keeps phasing in and out of existence. Maybe I'll just stop midair and drop like Wiley e. Coyote. things go on. You distract yourself with books and games, but you can't shake the feeling Michael Douglas and falling down was right. That cynical feeling you are only getting paid crumbs, that you wish you were somewhere else. The building you walk through is cheaply made and hundreds of people are putting away life savings to stay in a glorified swimming pool. The food you eat is less than it ever was. It's trash, but you can still barely afford it. And some nut blames the folks who want higher wages rather than the company making crap burgers for $12. But you know you can survive because it's just you. But you know so many families clinging to the walls but still kicking others down the shaft by taking more than their fair share, which is chipping away at the cause and causing the collapse of society because some think taking what you want is freedom not selfishness. Then you wonder if you are the selfish one for living this life alone and trying to keep days free to audition over and over and over and realizing you might audition your whole life and never get anything else. It might just be a life of trying. But I'll survive. And at least I have the time to think. Still not many people to talk to. Maybe once I get back to a social life, people won't find me annoying, and I'll think of something to do. But for now, 
guess I'll just write. That singer from the band Vast was a homeschooler too. <laughs> <laughs> 